Hi guys, this is Sarah and in this video I want to show you how I um, tone and screen tone my work with Photoshop and in the future videos I'm going to show you how I also do it with the Illustrator and also in the future I'm going to show you how I combine the two programs together because I kind of had a request um, asking me to compare between Illustrator and Photoshop and every program has stuff that isn't available on the other one and so on like that so since everyone likes Photoshop and everyone's familiar with Photoshop I thought it would be um, a good start to just start with the Photoshop CS6 now let's get started with this tutorial so I'm working with the CS6 but I do recommend if you do want to use the CS6 um, you gotta have something at least like 8 gigabytes of RAM so it can work smoothly. I have upgraded my computer not too long ago to have 8 gigabytes of RAM so I can feel that the program is really smooth with me and it is faster than the CS5 so I really like that but again you need to have enough memory to be able to handle uh, the Photoshop. So how about we start? I already opened this image and um, I want to show you the inking process in it because for me I am a person who do doesn't know how to ink with the tablet it's not like me to actually try to draw something and my eyes on something else it just feels weird so I worked an option or something an alternative it might be not the best result but still it just in two steps it will clean up your picture just by adjustment here and go to threshold and it has inked and cleaned and made the picture white because I drew, I drew on a bit of an off-white page usually it will tell you like 128 this is the number or default number of the threshold the threshold is actually the blacks and whites the more that you increase the amount of threshold you're increasing the amount of black pixels in your picture so the more I increase it like this the more the blacker it will be and so on like that though if I do kind of press ok it will be permanent and I will not be able to change it so there is another actually option you can uh, do which is I'm going to go to this yin and yang thing create or fill adjustment layer I'm going to the third option from the bottom threshold it will create something called the adjustment layer which practically creates a threshold layer in any moment for example you do not like 128 um, original or default number just press here and you can adjust at any time pull it back you do not like it you want your original picture back just press on the eye icon it the layer will disappear another cool thing is that you see this one here this is called a mask which is like a transparent layer that you put on your picture if you do want to remove part and leave the other one then just go on the you have to press on it okay remember that I'm going to go to the paintbrush and choose a bit um, no I want to something bigger and I will I will actually choose the black because black erases and white restores so that's another cool thing to having the mask and the adjustment layer thing it's just like a transparent cheat that you put to show something and it will not affect the original in any way okay now I'm gonna show you how do I color or um, how do I screen toner stuff like that first I'm just going to decrease the, the threshold a bit to make it yeah that's nice now I am going to create a new layer choose multiply and then I'm going to zoom in and pick the magnetic lasso tool and start to um, select this area you're wondering this is called aqua she's in an experimental uh, one shot I'm doing and it's called aqua love it's going to deal with perspective so hopefully that's going to help me with my perspective issue in drawing so I've selected this 
Now I have here swatches, already swatches, um, that has a bunch of grays. And I really like that because I don't have to worry about looking for it. If you do not find this, just go to Window, see swatches over there, just select it, and then it will appear right there. I'm going to pick a color and I'm going to go with um, either the bucket tool, if you like, throw in the color like that, or the gradient tool, because I see some manga artists actually give a gradient feel to their work as due to the screen tone nature I believe but what if you don't have screen tones this is how you do it um, I am going to go to the yin and mark again and choose the third one from the top patterns don't worry we'll just pick whatever we want I would say this one's alright and it has created a layer of its own just to pick multiply those two layers have combined together to give me this interesting result. Now I have downloaded those screen tones from the site. I will leave the site in the information box. It works on uh, Photoshop CS3 and above. CS6, CS5 and CS4 all work. I have tested the three programs. So um, it also works on the portable programs as well. You can also here, you can play around with the layer style to make uh, or give really different types of effects. It's really your choice whether you wanted something like this or just, you know, keep it seam, multiply. And because it comes with a mask, I'm going to choose the mask here. And as you can see here, the white kind of restores or uh, colors and the black erases. Now it doesn't really like do the same job of the eraser as I told you, it's like a transparent layer. You can add it in anytime you want. The cool thing about the patterns also is that you can play around with the size of the dots or increase it, decrease it. It's really up to you. Now this is how I used to do things in the photo. I do now use the Photoshop and the Illustrator together and my next video will be more about the Illustrator the third video will be how to use the two programs to um, use the best of the two worlds combined together to create the best results out of the two programs. If you do want to pursue comic uh, making professionally, you gotta learn the two programs. But if you just want it as a hobby and then you just want to keep using the Photoshop, there you have it. But, and trust me, I am Illustrator, it saved me a ton of time. And I'm really happy to use the two programs. Photoshop is great for editing. Illustrator is wonderful for coloring. And uh, if you want to add the InDesign to your package to make comics and magazine and book layouts, you have a full graphic uh, diploma with you, that's great. You'll, or you will have the tools to become a professional comic book artist. That's it, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.